President Biden and former President Donald Trump taking their chance to appeal to voters yesterday as the two top candidates going into the 2024 election. Lauren Blanchard has more. 2024's two front runners were out on the campaign trail Wednesday. President Joe Biden traveling to New York, raising money from Democratic donors while blasting Republicans over the debt ceiling crisis, saying they're holding the economy hostage with the nation facing default if a deal is not reached by June. House Republicans passed a bill to raise the debt ceiling, but it also reins in government spending. President Biden says he's willing to reduce the deficit through tax hikes on wealthier Americans and corporations. This is a manufactured crisis. There's no question about America's ability to pay its bills. America is the strongest economy in the world, and we should be cutting spending and lowering the deficit without a needless crisis in a responsible way. Meanwhile, former President Trump taking center stage in a New Hampshire televised town hall, encouraging Republicans on Capitol Hill to stick to their plan, even if that means defaulting for the first time in the country's history. If they don't give you massive cuts, you're going to have to do a default. The former president appearing just one day after a New York jury found him liable for sexually abusing a woman decades ago and publicly defaming her. Trump denying ever meeting the woman at the center of the case, despite the jury's verdict. I don't know her. I never met her. I have no idea who she is. During the town hall, former President Trump also continued to spread misinformation about the 2020 election, saying it was rigged. He also would not commit to accepting the 2024 election results. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.